One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he had finished, one of the disciples asked him, Rabbi, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, when you pray, say, Abba God, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we too forgive all who have done wrong to us, and subject us not to the trial. Jesus said to them, Suppose one of you had a friend to whom you went in the middle of the night and said, Friend, lend me three loaves, for some friends of mine have come in from a journey, and I have nothing to offer them. And the friend answered, Leave me alone. The door is shut now. My family and I are asleep. I can't get up to look after your needs. I tell you, even if it is not out of friendship, then because of your persistence, your friend would get up and take care of you and give you as much as you needed. So I say to you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For whoever asks receives, whoever seeks finds, whoever knocks is admitted. What parent among you would give your child a snake if asked for a fish, or hand your daughter a scorpion if she asks for an egg. If you, with all of your sins, know how to give good things to your children, how much more will God in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? And this is the gospel, the good news of our salvation. Praise Praise you, Lord. By the words of the gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Amen. So we gather, and as always, we thank God we can be here to pray together to hear God's word in the scriptures. We welcome those of you that are with us for the first time. It's good to have you here. And those of us who are always here, obviously we welcome each other in God's name. Uh, as we were listening to the first reading tonight, I was very impressed that I heard some of you laugh. And the reason why I was impressed, which, mean, which means you were listening to the reading. If you weren't listening, you wouldn't have heard the, diff the numbers being batted back and forth between Abraham and God. So that's, that was good. It shows, it makes me feel that uh, hopefully we'll continue to <laughs> listen. If you notice at the beginning of Mass today, something different occurred. Anybody remember? My phone rang. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> There was something different at the beginning. Anybody catch it? Beginning part where we asked for forgiveness? No. And pray for help. Magdalena, what was different? I am. Su nombre. Ah, yes. We had two opening prayers. Yes. Okay. We had the prayer of the yes. day, the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And then we had another prayer in honor of Santa Maria Magdalene, Saint Mary Magdalene, okay. whose feast day was yesterday. Yes, and normally we don't talk about a feast day after the event, but this is something that has to be spoken about a little bit. In the bulletins today, there's an, uh, an article there in regards to Mary Magdalene and the way Francis, the Bishop of Rome, has elevated this day, not just to a mention in the Mass, but a feast day unto itself. And we're talking about this woman who
listened to Jesus and who was so caught up in what Jesus was all about that she took it upon herself to go to the tomb on that first Easter Sunday morning. When all the men were carried away someplace, this woman went and put herself on the line. And if we read the Gospel for yesterday, which was from the Gospel of John, Mary asks the gardener, quote unquote, where have you taken him? What have you done with him? And then something wonderful happens. Mary is called by name. Jesus says to her, Mary, and she says, Rabbi. She recognized the presence of Jesus because he called her by name. And all of us are called by name. Sometimes we don't listen. Sometimes we don't want to hear our name being called. I refused to listen for three years. Completely stayed away, as I've told you before, completely stayed away from the church for three years. And then the voice comes. When a, a person is ordained a priest, they are called by name, right? So and so, and you answer present. Which means that if Mary was called by name, she was called to be a priest. And for those of us who are not within the scope of the Roman Catholic Church, <coughs> this is what we do. No one is not called. Obviously, we don't have any female priests in our parish, but there are throughout our church affiliation. And as I've said many times before, the backbone of the church were the women. We look at the gospel today, and it's a, a tale we hear about being persistent persevering in faith, in not stopping to pray, right? to pray without ceasing. And, and when we pray, we let God into our lives. We have to be aware that the presence of God is with us 24-7, 365. Right? Not just when we're in this building, but when and that's something that has to be cultivated. We have to be able to make ourselves aware of God's presence. In our dealings with one another, in the time that we spend alone in the quietness of our hearts and minds, that we have to invite God into who we are. We have to. Because there are too many places, too many dark places in the world where God's presence is completely thrown out, not wanted, pushed away, neglected, abused. And we have to make up for all those times that people are abusing the name of God. We have to. And one of the things that we're going to try to cultivate here, it's in the bulletin, I don't know how many of you looked at the bulletin yet, but beginning in September, on Wednesday nights, the church will be open from 5 until 7, every Wednesday, for a time of quietness. No one's going to take attendance, whether you're here or not. And during that, those two hours, we will have a liturgy, be it a mass, benediction, uh, spiritual reading, evening prayer, whatever. But it's something that we need to be more aware of the presence of God. So think about it, pray about it, let God in, and let the selfishness out. And while you do that, pray for me, as I pray for you. And may God bless us and keep us, may God's face shine upon us and give us peace, now and always.